but yeah. it's all in context. So what? So you mentioned agencies. So how does that kind of work? You show them. You show them the reel. They like you, and then it's kind of like they, they they throw your name in the ring for for roles that you otherwise wouldn't have seen, or kind of how does that work? Yeah, I mean, I'm not entirely sure because I haven't done too much research on it because I'm not at that point yet. But the research that I have done, um, you pitch to them. They like you. You know, whatever it is. Hey, I'm Jeremiah, and here's my reel, my headshot. I would love for you to represent me. I love your work or whatever it is. If they like you, they'll, they'll put you in, they'll throw you in the ring. And then they have connections within the field. So if they hear something that fits your range, they'll throw you towards that. Oh, here's mm -hmm. an audition. Oh, here's something that you should apply for, stuff like that. So um, with that, getting into the acting guild as well is really big because if I can get an agent who is in the acting guild, that will give me the opportunity to go for the big, big, big stuff, like the big films and the big, you know, speaking lines on, mm -hmm. you know, certain shows and stuff like that. That's also also another goal of mine to get into SAG. It's called SAG. So what um, is what is the actor SAG? Is SAG is SAG the acting guild? SAG is the acting guild so for what is what is that? It's basically your. It's basically like the way to title yourself as a professional. If you get into that, you're a professional actor. That's what. That's basically what it is. You know, you're a union member mm -hmm. and that means any roles that you take from now on, um, you're automatically always supposed to be paid. Like you're like an employee and I'm not like, I don't want to say like an employee, but you're like, you're part of that business now. Mm -hmm. And um, being part of SAG is a big thing because you can get access to their website. Their website has a lot of resources for SAG actors, agents, agencies, of course, auditions and uh, connections that you can make. It's very, it's a very powerful place to be and um a lot of people will have a hard time getting in there there is a giant fee to get in and you have to pay quarterly to stay in the guild it's a very serious thing they want to know that you're serious about it so um that is the ultimate goal for me i don't want to do it too fast though because as soon as you become a sag member you're not allowed to do any more non-union films no more student films no more anything that's non-sag you can't do it mm. against their rules so what is the limiting sort of like i wouldn't i wouldn't know off the top of my head but like how far is this the reach of like of sag as far as films so obviously you're not really in the realm of like like you're still doing student films and things of that nature but like to be like in a movie theater is like the likelihood that it's a sag film like any yeah any, very very high any big film, TV show, or anything like that, any big actor you know or actress is in SAG. Mo like 99% of them are in SAG. I don't, I mean, I'm, I don't know the backgrounds on, like, at least for their acting guilds. I don't know mm -hmm. if they're like, but mo like Scarlett Johansson, she mm -hmm. started on backstage and then went into SAG. Mm -hmm. Jennifer Lawrence, I don't know where she started, but she's in the SAG too. Everybody that you know, all the actors, all the big actresses, it's, it's a SAG. All the, like The Walking Dead, that's a SAG production. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um also to get into sag you have to get these vouchers too. It's, it's 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 a grind to get in there it's a grind to get in there so what, what do you mean by vouchers so with the walking dead the reason i bring that up is because it was a sag production mm -hmm. if you fill in i was a non-union person i filled in one time as a as, an, as a union person union people get paid more so the production pays everybody that's part of the film or the mm -hmm. series right mm -hmm. so the union people get paid and the non-union people get paid, but the union people get the union people get paid more, like a lot more mm -hmm. than the non-union. I didn't care about the money. It was, you know, it, it's it's not that a big deal to me. But you get a voucher if you fill in for a union person. So there was one scene that I came in and uh, I filled in for a union person. I got a union voucher, which means that I participated as a SAG or a union member without having a union membership. If you get three of them within 30 days. You have to join SAG. You cannot do any other productions and you have to join SAG because you have to, you have to, because um, I think it's called, what's it called? The William Howard, Howard Taft or something. There's a paperwork they send you. And if you don't join it and you continue to take work uh, without being part of SAG, um, they won't let you do it. They won't let you be, they won't let you do it anymore because you have to join it. You know, you're getting paid at a SAG membership, but you're not a member. You know what I'm mm. saying? Oh, so it's get, because it's because you got paid in that way. And, yeah, and you're not paying the fees to be part of that membership. Gotcha. Everybody inside pays that membership. So there's a entrance fee, and then there's a I think they said quarterly fees. Because when I was on The Walking Dead, I talked to a lot of SAG actors. There's a lot of them there. Mm -hmm. I talked to a lot of them, how they got in, what they had to do, um, stuff like that. Um, so there's fees to get in. There's quarterly fees. 
I have to have a unique name. Nobody in SAG has the same name. I have is to that, have a unique Is that name. why actors change their names? Yes, that's why actors change their names. So if somebody already has my name, while I go into SAG, I have to change my name because it's a unique database. So um, I was talking about that and then I was just trying to find ways to get into it. They're like union vouchers. You can also do uh, stunts. I was talking to this one guy, he was a stunt person. He did like wire training. So when mm -hmm. you see like people go flying in movies and stuff like that, mm -hmm. they're usually attached to a wire. Yeah. I was like, oh, that's cool. So I was thinking about doing stunts because like I was telling him I'm a martial artist. Martial artists can get into SAG easier because if they can do stunts, that's how they get into the, they get the vouchers really quickly. Oh, yeah. when you do stunt, boom, you're into SAG. So, uh, and then of course I was talking to SAG actor who was also like, don't go into SAG too fast because then you won't be able to do any non-union stuff. So it's a delicate balance. And that's why I, I'm trying to do as many non-union stuff and get as many from my reel before I start pitching. Mm -hmm. Before I start pitching. So have you thought about going into stunts? Like when you were talking about stunts, I was like, oh, you're a martial artist. You, you yep. could do that. Yep. And, then, and then you said it. So um, yep. have you have you thought about that? I have. And I, um, when I was in D.C. or when I was in Northern Virginia, I, there was a D.C. stunt coalition, but they weren't very active. I sent them a message. It took them a while to get back to me every now and then. So I was like, all right, I guess I'm not going to work out. I could apply for a stunt training out here, but uh, with my income, with my money situation, I'm really not trying to expend anything that's unnecessary. Sure. So once I get to a point where maybe I do a film or two that's paid and it's like, okay, I got a little extra money. Oh, now I can go um, to acting classes. Now I can go to acting school. Mm -hmm. Now I can go to do the stunts that I need to do, fight choreography, whatever it is. But as of right now, just starting out, I'm just going to hold back a little bit, you know, and uh, I, I, I would do it eventually. I would do it eventually. So. Did you take acting classes before? I took, I took one in college. That was it? That's it. I don't have a background in acting. You just like it. You just <laughs> I, yeah, like I, it and I, happen to be good at it. I just, I just again, I, I just happen to have a natural talent for it. People think, you know, I mean, I, I'm obviously getting roles and callbacks and stuff like that. So I'm doing something right but I, yeah i don't have any professional acting uh, i don't have a professional acting background no class or anything the only class i took was in college it was a small once like one semester thing and uh, it was really fun i enjoyed it a lot but that was it it wasn't my major so i couldn't really pursue anything else besides that so but yeah i took one acting class it was a lot of fun that was it that's the only thing i have 